what's up everybody this is James from Southern Roots LLC LLC and today we're talking about the PC check what is it why do you think it's going to be so important well firstly it's awesome that you want to work from home but on the other note not everybody can work from home because they probably don't have the right equipment um, now we don't expect you to have some fifteen hundred fourteen hundred two thousand twenty five hundred dollar setup I'm going to be honest with you right now, the desktop that I'm using, the laptop I use to service on every day, cost me $229 for the laptop, $224 on the desktop. They are both from discount-computer.com. Great equipment. I've been using them from the get, and I'll use them till the end of time, as far as they can carry me at least. So the PC check. Why is the PC check important? The PC check, once you're registered with us, is going to check your computer or laptop to make sure it meets minimum requirements on RAM, hard drive, run speed, whatever, latency. It'll even check your Wi-Fi to make your, not your Wi-Fi, your internet to make sure that your internet is up to par. So quickly here, I'm going to show you guys. This is what the Arise Portal is. You'll see our name up here at the top. Uh, you'll have the home button just like anything, but what's important is over here on the right hand side, you'll see support profile and PC check. Now the PC check is what we're wanting. Uh, I can't show you what the opportunity to report behind this is because that would violate our contracts, but I can tell you once you're registered, this little blue note that I have here, you, you're not going to have to worry about that because you'll be able to see everybody who's setting up for training currently. So with that being said, let me pop over here. This is the PC check. Now this right here, this screen, once you click on PC check here in the top right hand corner, you're going to come to this screen. Now they used to have to select it and there used to be two different options, but I can tell you now that you don't need it. Looks like I need to refresh. Whoops. Alright, you'll just come down here, scroll to the bottom. You can actually scroll down and this right here will show you exactly what is required for you to work from home. This is minimum, not the maximum. You can have anything above, but nothing below. And this is a simple pass or fail. Uh, it's a very non-invasive check. I'm going to actually run the check and show you guys what it actually sees. Now at the bottom of your screen, you'll see detection. You'll go ahead and click that and click open. And once that pops up, this little screen here will pop up. If you have a dual screen, it might pop up on the other side. And you'll just let it do its thing. That's all it's going to do is check your computer. It's not going to invade your privacy. It's not going to send your personal data anywhere. It's literally just checking to see if you meet the standard requirements that Arise has set forth for everyone. Now you see it's all done, but you see it's sitting right here, exiting in seven. It's counting down. You do not need to click anything. It will be done on its own, and it will disappear on its own, and the results will pop up here in this little spinning wheel of death. So bear with me because I'm pretty sure that mine's not going to show because I'm streaming and it's probably pulling a lot of data over. Close that. Yep, she doesn't want to run for me because it's still loading and it's not going to show for me. But the same thing that I showed you before, yeah, see it showed an error. And that's mainly because I'm just trying to show the screen. Up oh, there you go. This is what you're going to see. Here's the requirements. An Intel Core IM i3. Uh, this is what I have. It passes. Everything passes here. RAM 8. I have 4 minimum, but I have 8. 120 on the latency. That's your network. That's your uh, internet speed. Latency, internet speed. It's saying I have 9.7, but I know that's incorrect because I have like 400 download speed or and it says three is only required so you can literally work off AT&T U-verse for those who are curious uh, but the speeds have to be above three millibyte up speed and ten down oh here we go hundred down nine up that's what I have uh, hard drive capacity has to be a minimum of 60 I have 900 mind you this is a discount computer discount dash computer computer so I paid two hundred and twenty-four dollars for this computer. Um, the laptop, two hundred twenty-nine. The laptop has the same specs as my desktop, and it works beautifully. So if you're ever looking to upgrade your stuff and you want to buy a new computer just for work, uh, and you don't want to be messing with your, you know, your personal laptop where you could jump on Facebook and whatnot, 
hey, invest in the secondary. They are not that expensive. Uh, or you can look at, you know, changing your stuff up down the road. But that right there is the PC check in its entirety. Get registered with us so you can have this profile and we can uh, get you PC checked to make sure that you have the equipment to be able to work from home. Your computer is the biggest part of it, but don't forget that some of our clients, yes, they do service through the computer directly. Others require you to have a home landline telephone. That's not UMA, that's not Google Voice, that's not Verizon Wireless, it's not AT&T Wireless, you have to have AT&T Uverse with a cable. And this is the simplest way to put it. And people are like, a plain old telephone line, are you talking about like the old Jack style? They kind of are. But if you have a cable internet provider that runs a black coax cable from a pole to your house to the modem, uh, check the back of it. If there's a little port that says TEL1 and TEL2, nine times out of ten, your cable provider provides a home phone option. Uh, and you don't have to have that right off the bat. As long as you can get it by the time your instructor tells you you need to have that phone set up, that's when you need to do it. I've had a lot of folks be like, okay, I just got the home phone. I'm ready to register for class. And I'm like, wait a minute. You don't want to do that because you're adding something to your bill you didn't need before. Wait until your instructor tells you you need the home telephone by this date and then call to schedule it to get it kicked on. If you've already got cable in your home and your internet passes, as you can see mine does here, it's literally a simple phone call to your internet provider and say, hey, I want home telephone. They'll kick it on and that's it. Then you're ready to rock and roll. But uh, I hope this information was good for you, as it was for me, and I will see you guys next time. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you again.